How many giant bricks can our popsicle bridge hold before it shatters into a zillion pieces? We're gonna find out. Oh, hi, Excite Dog. Oh, do you, do you need someone to help count? Because I am a very good counter. I do need someone to count, Excite Dog. That would be very helpful. But let's first show everybody how this bridge was made. First, we took 200 popsicle sticks. 200? That's the limit. The bridge can't be any bigger than that. And you can only build the bridge using these popsicle sticks. That and glue, of course. Just ordinary school glue. Oh, very sticky. That's right, Excite Dog. We definitely don't want to get that glue on your fur. What? Now you're gonna see, Excite Dog, that these popsicle sticks are not very strong. Look how flimsy they are. I can bend them with just my fingers. Careful, you're going to break it. That's right, they break very easily. Now here's our brick. Oh, it looks heavy. Oh, it is, Excite Dog. In fact, we're gonna need to weigh it to show you just how heavy it is. Oh, you got the weigh scale. I like that because it has numbers. It certainly does, and it's showing us that the weight is just over five pounds, Excite Dog. Oh, that, those are bricks are very, very heavy. That's right, and we do have a lot of them. I, I don't think the bridge can hold that many. Me neither, Excite Dog. But hey, remember the domino videos we've done? What if we did that with bricks? What? <laughs> Well, that was kind of fun, but back to our bridge. Many bridges go over water, so we're going to try to recreate some water using this big blue vat. So we're going to fill up our lucky red bucket with water. Oh, you're going to use real water to make the river. I, I see what you're doing. You got it, Excite Dog. Here comes one bucket. Wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to do the counting. Oh, sorry, Excite Dog. Go ahead. This one is number two. And it's really starting to fill up there. Bucket number three. And the this bucket is bucket number four. Good counting, Excite Dog. This one is bucket number five. And I think we'll make that our last one. But we will add some toy boats. If we're going to have a river, we got to have some boats floating on the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add some boats. You got it, Excite Dog. I think two should be enough. We'll just leave them floating on the water. And at long last, we add our bridge. A popsicle bridge. That's right, 200 popsicles and a lot of glue. Now we need to do a little car test. We got to make sure a car can fit over the road. Otherwise, it's not much of a bridge. Oh, I, I think the car can drive over the bridge as long as it doesn't drive into the holes. Now that would be bad, wouldn't it? Yes, the car definitely needs to stay on the road. There's our car on the bridge. And here's just one last check to make sure the car can get all the way across. The car can get across, but it, it is a lot lighter than the bricks. It is the bricks that I am worried about. Oh, for sure, Excite Dog. In fact, I don't even think three cars are as heavy as one of our single bricks. Are you really going to put the bricks on the bridge? We sure are, Excite Dog. You see, if you look under the bridge, let me show you what's underneath. There's a whole bunch of reinforcing popsicle sticks in the center, which are all sideways, vertical. So I'm hoping all those sticks lined together are gonna to be able to take a lot of weight. Now enough talking, let's add some bricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh, my brick doesn't quite fit through the truss of the bridge here. I might have to turn it on its side. I guess we could try that. This is brick number one, and the bridge did not break. Then let's add the next one. Brick number two. You know that's going to be over 10 pounds, Excite Dog. That is very heavy. Yes, that is a lot for a bridge made out of flimsy popsicle sticks. Shall we add another brick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here it comes. Brick number three. This time, since we're above the truss, I think we can lie the brick on its side. There we go. Did it break? Did it break? Not yet, Excite Dog. Let's add another brick. Brick number four! Oh, I think that's over 20 pounds now. I just gotta figure out how to balance this thing. It's kind of wobbly. Got it. So we are up to one, one 
two, two three, three, and four. four. Four bricks. And here comes... Number five. Thanks, Excite Dog. Let me see if I can get this to balance. Ooh, it's very shaky. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. I just got to find the right way to balance it off. There. Check the count, Excite Dog. One, two, three, four, and five. That's right, it's five. Our popsicle bridge is holding more than 25 pounds now. And so we're going to add number six. Oh, the higher up we get, the shakier it becomes. You've, you've got to balance all those bricks. I've got it, I've got it. Don't worry, Excite Dog. Let's just check our count and make sure we've got everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. And after six comes seven. If our bridge can hold it, we'll have 35 pounds. Don't break, bridge. Don't break. I just got to make sure I get this balanced. I think I've got it. Yes. All right, let's double check that we've really got seven bricks here. Sight Dog, are you ready to count for us? Oh, yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bricks. It's an imagination room first. We have seven bricks on a 200 stick popsicle bridge. Do you think we could go for eight Excite Dog? Could we possibly get one? Ooh, the bricks fell. Well, the bad news is the bricks fell, but the good news is the bridge didn't actually break. That's just a little slow mo for you guys. Hopefully nobody got too wet. So, since our bridge isn't broken, I think we can try again. But this time, let's make sure all of our bricks are flat. No more sideways bricks. If I squeeze, maybe I can get it in there without breaking the bridge. Oh, you've got to be careful. You just keep counting, you sight dog. Let me worry about that. Okay, that is brick number one. And this guy here will be... Brick number two. I think I can get it in there. Okay, let me just try to even it out here. It's we gotta be stable. That is brick number two, guys. And here comes number three. There we go. And now that's much easier to stack. This time, I think the tress of the bridge is actually gonna hold the bricks in place. That is three. But the next one is going to be number four. You got it, Excite Dog. Really wanted to stay balanced this time. Brick number five. Remember, last time we made it to seven bricks and it didn't break. So I'm hoping we can go even further. One, two, three, four, five. And get ready for brick number six. No, oh, we got to be so gentle here. I don't see any wobbles yet. But, but that is 30 pounds. How is the bridge holding all that weight? And here comes seven. This is where it fell over last time. Let's do a quick check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For a new record, we have eight. That is brick number eight. Uh-oh. I'm starting to see wobbles. Not again! Okay, okay. New plan. What if we take a couple of the bricks off the top and we turn them sideways so the weight is lower? Maybe that will be a bit more stable? Maybe? I, I, I don't know. But, but it is still eight bricks. Then let's add two more. Two? That, that's going to be number nine and number ten. I know. Pretty crazy, right? Let's see if we can actually get that to balance. Ooh, ooh, I, I, I don't know about this. I think, I think I've got it. Let's see. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten bricks excite dog. That's over 50 pounds. And guess what? We're out of bricks. What? 
So maybe I'll just add this 25 pound weight. What? Yep, you can see it there. This thing called a kettlebell is 25 pounds. The, the, the bridge, the bridge is that broken? And 10 bricks at five pounds each is 50 pounds. Plus a 25 pound kettlebell is 75 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and kettlebell. Hold on, I just found another brick. I've taken the kettlebell off so I can add brick number 11. Woo! And it looks like that's going to hold too. And that's going to get us to 80 pounds. The bridge did not break. That is true, Excite Dog, which means I'm going to need to find more weight. So I'm going to take brick number 11 and the kettlebell off, go down to 10 bricks, and then add these five pound weights. Each one of these circular weights is the same weight as one of the bricks. So, so, so that would be like 12 bricks. Very good, Excite Dog. So that'll take us back to 60 pounds. And then if it holds, I'll add the kettlebell on top. No, 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 no. That is way too much weight for the bridge. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? But since we have one extra brick, let's add that on first. So that is going to get us to 65 pounds. And if we just add the kettlebell on top, we're going to be at an astonishing 90 pounds. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Can you imagine, Excite Dog? 90 pounds? That would be incredible! Wait, did, did you hear- Oh! Bridge! 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 No, oh, we did not get to 90 pounds, guys. I did not even get the shot. It broke when I wasn't expecting it. Just look at this total destruction in the tub. Wet bricks, popsicle sticks, and a couple of weights. So the highest our bridge held was 80 pounds, and it actually broke with 65 on it. But that was fun, because we really got to kind of do our motto. We got to build something, we got to play with it, and we kind of even learned something, too. And, and, and we also made a very big mess. Oh, yeah, I guess we got to go clean up. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching the Imagination Room. And remember, build, play, create.